Hey everybody, today we're going to do an unboxing of the new Ninja Speedy. Stick around for this one, guys. What's up guys, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, welcome to my kitchen, so glad you're here. Guys, we got a fun one for you today. We're gonna do an unboxing. You know, we do these when we get new products, and today we have the new Ninja Speedy. We're gonna open it up, take a look, discuss the features, talk about some cooks maybe, get some dimensions, you know, the typical unboxing stuff. All right, guys, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Got a bare spot on the wall right there for our play button. Once we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're on the road there. We wanna get there by the end of the year. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. So nothing left to do, but get to it. Come to my Ninja Speedy Station, otherwise known as my Kitchen Island. Let's take a look and let's get this unboxed, huh? All right, team, we got our Ninja Speedy right here. We're gonna go ahead and get it out of the box. Before we do that, let's take a look at the outside here. Basically, obviously your advertising side going on, talking about the 15 minute meals, the rapid cooking system using steam plus the air fry at the same time. Kind of what the same concept is for that 14 in one Ninja Foodie where it's using steam crisp technology. It's the same kind of idea there. One thing you'll notice over here is they uh, have this speedy meal builder, the QR code, you scan it, it takes you to the Ninja Test Kitchen. So it will go over all the, uh, you know, the good stuff you can make there. And then it has an option of, you know, putting the protein you have, putting the, the grain or pasta you have and the vegetable you have, and it helps build meals off of that. Has 12 functions over here. Speedy meals, air fry, saute, sear, saute, all that stuff. All sides, just kind of explain what you got. On the top here, 1760 watts. It's a rapid cooker and air fryer. Six quart, and it has a non-stick pot. We'll take a look at the multifunctional crisper tray. Two positions for two different recipes. So let's, let's get this bad boy open. All right, more good stuff on the top before you open everything up. Setting up a cooker recipe, everything you need to do to get it started. The Speedy Meal Builder, which I just talked about. Yeah. With every uh, Ninja you get, you get that quick start guide, recipe book, setting it up for whatever you're gonna be cooking, all that good stuff, right? Have your owner's manual. Quick little guide for their favorite Speedy Meals. It's got a burrito bowl, a Mediterranean bowl, Buddha bowl, Italian pasta, Asian inspired bowl, and a comfort food bowl. I dig it. These off to the side. I hate that styrofoam sound. This is the box. Uh, the plastic. Okay, team, we got this open and out. We got that easy lift lid. Go ahead and get these little, get the plastic out. We got our multi-function crisper tray. We have our pot that goes inside the cooking pot. Now this is a six quart pot and you can see that it is measured out on the side in there, etched out there, the max you can go, how many cups, so on and so forth. Uh, pretty deep little reservoir there. And if I take the pot out, you'll be able to see that there's gonna be heat from the bottom and then heat from the top, like a traditional air fryer. So that is it with the pot in. Now you can see inside there's little divots for the crisper plate here. And all you're gonna do is turn these little catches, I guess you call them, out like that. And then this fits right in those grooves. Shut it down. All right, let's talk about the functions. All right, team, we plugged the Speedy in. Let's go ahead and turn it on so we can look at the functions. The air fry stove top. So you can see we have our little switch, our smart switch here. And it lets air fry, bake, roast, broil, dehydrate, sear saute, slow cook or CV. And then when you switch this smart switch up to rapid cook, it takes it over to the other side where you can do the speedy meals, the steam and crisp, steam and bake, steam and proof. Yeah, let's talk about that smart switch for a little bit. So what exactly is that smart switch? So this is their proprietary 
TM that you effortlessly switch between the rapid cooking mode and the air fry stovetop mode. Choosing the right mode helps ensure you have the perfect cooking conditions for your specific meal or dish. So with the rapid cooker, it's best for whole roasts, fresh and frozen proteins, root vegetables that are gonna take a long time, uh, two-part meals used for foods that air fryers normally dry out. Okay, so not really putting things. Obviously, I'm reading this guide here for you, give me a different view. Air fry stove top mode is best for frozen prepared foods like nuggies, fries, mozzarella sticks, but it does all the normal stuff your air fryer does or your Ninja Foodie does, okay? With that multi-functional crisper tray. For traditional air frying, you keep those little legs pinned in and then just set it in the bottom of that pot, okay? When you're doing the dual cooking, right that's when you pull out the little legs so let it rest on that edge so you got your steamed stuff down below and then your air crisp crisp crisp, crisp air fried stuff on the top part another thing you'll dig about this is that you can pause the cook at any time by opening the lid there's no lock on this you just stop and groove and groove with it okay let's go over the specs on this bad boy right now the cord length is 36 inches in case you, you care the parts that you can remove from the inside are dishwasher safe your dimensions are 14 by 13 by 12 inches in height so it's a pretty contained unit okay the weight of it is 16 pounds which is pretty light compared to most of the ninja foodies or the foodie grills okay and we already talked about the wattage it's 1760 there's a one year limited warranty, 60 day money back return. Uh, let's see. Okay team, so I gave you a little walk around of the new Speedy. I actually just got this. We're truly unboxing it together. I will do obviously a first cook. Obviously we're gonna do mini cooks in this thing, but I wanted to get it out here as soon as possible so you could take a look at it, get a little close up view, hear the specifics about it. Not too terribly in depth. I mean, like I said, we're just unboxing it. It's not a review or anything like that, but I wanted to get it out there, like I said, and share it with the peeps. Cause I know a lot of people are excited about this, about this new Ninja Speedy and the capabilities it has. Uh, the 15 minute meals is their, obviously their big seller. You do your pasta and your grains or whatever in the bottom and they air fry your proteins on top, right? Or your veggies on the bottom, right? So basically you're combining kind of two cooks in one cooker, right? So lots of features on this thing. I'm excited to start building some recipes for it. I'm actually on this one gonna kind of take some cues out of their guide uh, for the first couple of cooks until I get a little bit more familiar and uh, you know, get an idea of what I wanna do, right? In the comments down below, why don't you throw what you would like to see cooked in the Ninja Speedy and we'll start making a list and start building this up together, cool? If you guys want to get yourself one of these Ninja Speedies, all right, I'll put a link down below. It's an affiliate link, but it doesn't cost you anything more. I have to disclose that, okay? So click on it, grab yourself one. It looks like a very cool, uh, it, it's actually more compact than my other Ninjas. So I like that it's a little squared off, real smooth looking uh, unit here. I think we're gonna do some really good cooks in there. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell next to it so you get alerts on when we do Ninja Speedy Cooks, okay? All right, team, we are coming up on the end of this one. Like I said, if you wanna get this, there's links down below. I have skateboard merch, all the stuff you see in my videos are all available with links down below. If you wanna become a show producer, like all these awesome people scrolling across the screen right now, smart, lovely people, hit that join button right next to that subscribe button. Other than that, we are done. I look forward to the next few cooks in this bad boy. This is exciting. I love it when Ninja gets me the new hotness. Uh, it gets me a little excited about, you know, getting those creative juices pumping, right? So, guys, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.